Interstate 271. Yeah! Alright, I-271 is an interesting road around Cleveland. It's got two control cities the entire time, which makes sense, but it does have some pretty interesting features we'll see along the way. We see here I-271 starts at I-71 and continues around the east side of Cleveland through the suburbs and ends up hitting I-90 at its northern end. All right, we're going to talk about northbound 271. So here's what it looks like when we're on I-71. We get 71 North Cleveland and North 271 for Erie, PA. So right from the jump, we are signed for Erie, and I think that's a pretty good choice. Here's our first mileage list. We get State Route 94, I-77, and Erie on there from the very beginning at 118 miles away. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about highways and the places that they're signed to go to. If you dig this kind of content, why not give us a like? And if you really like it, why not subscribe? Yeah, subscribe. And here is our first proper exit on 271. We see it's gonna be mileage based and our first exit is three, so not a lot of exits down here. At this random interchange, we are getting Erie and Columbus as our control cities. So sensible, especially since I-71 is not far away. Next mileage sign we get Richfield and then I-77 and Erie. And we're gonna be meeting I-77, I-77 north for Cleveland in half a mile, but first we get Ohio 176 to I-77 because there is no direct ramp onto southbound I-77. It's a little weird, we'll see it on the southbound side. Exit 1077 north is also to I-80, the Ohio Turnpike, because we do not meet I-80. And there's our actual ramp, 271 north for Erie, 77 for Cleveland. And right here at this unassuming little exit is Richfield, and this actually used to be the home of an NBA franchise. The Cavs played out here. This was the exit for Richfield Coliseum, which no longer stands. Edwin Paskey wanted to see this interchange because he saw Foreigner and Billy Squire at the Richfield Coliseum. I feel like Foreigner and Billy Squire should, should have just had a residency at the Richfield Coliseum. That's a good match right there. Would have been a cool show. Thank you so much for the request. And you can make requests too if you have a Patreon membership with some levels. Uh, you can get requests as Edwin did for this one. Or you can also make a request the old fashioned way with a $5 super sticker, which you can add to any video with a super thanks. Thank you so much for those of you who have and do and did for this video and other videos. So here is where the Richfield Coliseum used to be. You see it's nothing now. They completely leveled it. It's nothing there anymore and it's actually part of Cuyahoga Valley National Park. I had no idea that there was a national park right by Cleveland. That's pretty cool. And we can also see our situation with I-80 on this map here and how we're not gonna be meeting it and how 77 has one of these kind of long breeze woody kind of things because Ohio Turnpike. Here is where we go under I-80 and this was requested by C for Cat on the Patreon. So thank you so much for that request. It's kind of a weird thing too because we're going under it and over it and we'll see that more clearly on the southbound. Next mileage sign, we are getting Ohio Highway 8, I-90, and Erie, PA. So we see I-90, 30 miles away where we actually end, and then 112 to Erie. So 82 miles on 90 for Erie. Right here, we're getting 8 to 82, Macedonia and Northfield. And interestingly, these are officially suburbs of Akron, not Cleveland. Kind of weird, you would think it would just be Cleveland suburbs on this road. And also, I feel like... I, they do it by county, of course, but I-80 ought to be the dividing line. If it's north of I-80, it's a Cleveland suburb. It's not an Akron suburb. And we get this corp limit. This is what they always do in Ohio. Never city limit, always corp limit. And right after that interchange, we pick up a third lane. So this road's starting to get a little bit bigger. We're going to be meeting 480 now, and this is kind of a weird situation. You can get on 480 West for Broadway Avenue and Forbes Road. The reason that those are control cities is because... 480 has exits for those, we do not. We become kind of like an express lane. And now we're entering Cuyahoga County, so we would officially be in the Cleveland Metro now. So here we go, we're on 271 and West 480, mile 31.8 is just on the other side of us. And we see they have that exit for Forbes Road coming up, but we do not have that exit. Used to look like this, it used to be just a normal concurrency but now they have this separated roads concurrency thing. Kind of interesting, kind of weird. Not quite sure why they did it, and they don't do it the whole time. Boss King Inc. wanted to see this concurrency, 
he requested that because this is one of the few concurrencies of three-digit interstates. You don't see two three-digit interstates concurrent very often. Thank you so much for the request. In fact, it was the only concurrency until 587 and 795 in North Carolina started. And those are just weird ones anyway. And next up on our 271 lanes, we have no sign, but on the 480 lines, we see they get 480 West Cleveland and 271 North Erie. But we're all gonna be together soon. In fact, we do merge together. So after having two separate carriageways for the two roads for a little while, they bring it back to a normal concurrent situation now. So not quite sure why they did it the way they did it. And now we're gonna be getting our exit 480 West for Cleveland and we are getting 271 North Erie. We meet US 422 right around here. 422 is a freeway in these parts. So 422 signed East for Warren and it's going to be concurrent with us for a ways as well. After getting out of the weird 480 concurrency, non-concurrency thing, now we are going to an express lane situation. So they're doing all kinds of stuff on this road. I'm not sure this road gets huge amounts of traffic, but it's weird how super built it is in its northern part and how it's just a regular four lane road in its southern part. And our split is coming up north 271 to 90 Erie left and local lanes north 271 and west 422 all exits. So if you want to stay on 422, you need to stay on local so you can get that 422 exit. And we see those express lanes on our left here and we are getting 422 West Chagrin Boulevard. So much to our chagrin, 422 is leaving us. We're gonna get an option to be able to get back into express if you would prefer to be in the express lanes in half a mile. And now we are gonna be meeting US 322 and this was requested by Leo. So thank you so much for that request. Really appreciated that and he wanted to see that because he made two videos for 322. And we can see the ramp that had left us, the distributor ramp, has West 322, Mayfield Road, Mayfield Heights, and an option to come back over to 271. And now we're getting pretty close to the end. We're getting I-90 in four miles, Erie in 90. Hmm, the math changed somewhere there. We see in the express lanes, West 90 and Ohio 91, Cleveland exit two miles because you're gonna have to leave the express lanes to get onto Cleveland bound 90. And we see here, express lanes, West 90 Cleveland exit half a mile and over here 90 Cleveland and Erie two and a quarter miles so what gives well that's just a slip ramp to get out of the express lanes that they're talking about on the express side so here is our slip ramp coming over from express meeting the main line I-271 and now we're entering Lake County and we are going to be meeting I-90 and Ohio 91 Euclid Ohio next right and we get East 90 for Erie and West 90 for Cleveland. Here is our split. But what gives the express lanes? They still exist. Isn't that weird? How come the express lanes never went away? They're still going to 90? This interchange with I-90 was also requested by Edwin Paskey. Thank you so much for that request. And yes, in fact, they are. Now we can see on the express side, we're getting an end 271 and it is now going to be signed East 90 Erie PA because you are going to be dumping into eastbound 90. I-90 you can see is actually going to be flying over us and we are kind of the main line road that I-90 is merging onto. So here's how this all looks on the map. See I-90 has its flyover onto local 271 and Express 271 continues on toward Erie and then local and Express meet together further mile up the road it becomes all one road for i-90 all right let's take a look at southbound 271 so let's start out on i-90 heading toward cleveland westbound i-90 we're getting west 90 and south 271 cleveland and express lanes south 271 columbus right now so we're a ways off from the main interchange so our express lanes have already formed and we are getting 271 south, all exits left one mile. And here is our split, I-90 West Cleveland. I-90 is actually kind of exiting itself here and 271 south, all exits exit only. Going the other way on eastbound 90, this is what it looks like. You get 271 South Columbus and 90 East Erie. So they don't give you the option to get into Express if you are going eastbound. Right here we go under US 6, what? No interchange or mention of US 6 whatsoever. Interesting. And here is a chance to get into Express Lanes, Express South 271 to 480. So no exits on 271 until the 480 meeting and 271 South, all exits. Random interchanges, we are getting 271 South Columbus, 
271 North for Cleveland and Erie. That's because you can get on westbound 90. And so it kind of does make sense to sign Cleveland this far north on 271. And we pass good old US 322 again, the one that Leo did videos about. Things are getting interesting here. We are meeting westbound 422 and joining with eastbound 422 east for Warren. Now we're getting 480 West Toledo instead of 480 West Cleveland. Coming the other way, it was always 480 West Cleveland, but it does make sense because if you were going to Cleveland, you wouldn't have gotten on 271 to begin with. You would have continued on 90. And we've also got just straight up south 271 and east 480 is the main line ahead. And here it is a little more sorted out. So 422 East Warren, 480 West Toledo, and South 271 and East 480. We're just getting Columbus. We're just getting the control city for 271 here. Coming from westbound 480, this is what it looks like. We get north 271, west 422 for Erie. We are going to be told to go east 480 and south 271 for Columbus. And 480 is signed for Cleveland and Toledo, which makes sense because if you're coming from northbound, you're getting signs for Cleveland. If you're coming from southbound, you're getting signs from Toledo. Put them both up there so neither side is confused once they join 480 West. From the 480 eastbound perspective, we're getting 480 and south 271 Youngstown. So we're not getting Columbus, we're getting Youngstown because that is what 480 is control city because 480 meets back with I-80 headed toward Youngstown. And from the express lanes, this is what it looks like. You do have the option on the express lanes. If you stay on the express lanes, you end up getting on 480 West Toledo. And if you get off this ramp back to the local lanes, you're on South 271 and East 480 for Columbus. And now 271 and 480 are going to split into their parallel carriageways. So 271 South Columbus and all of our local exits we're getting on 480. So they're telling us that and also 480 East Youngstown. So if you were 480 traffic all along, you would have gotten Youngstown and then now you get Youngstown again. If you were 271 all along, you would have gotten Columbus, then Columbus once again. So this is a fairly convoluted, complicated situation here, but I think Ohio handles it really well. And further down, this is where 480 actually leaves. They stop driving right next to us and they will cross over us here and head east toward the Ohio Turnpike. It's kind of a weird pull through we're getting here. We get this South Ohio 8 Boston Heights Akron. It's gonna be an exit only, but why is it on a pull through sign over the main lanes here? Why not 271 is a reassurance there instead. Here is where 8 is going to be doing its exit only thing. And now we do get a 271 pull through shield. We get a mileage sign, 303, 77 and Columbus. And here is the Cuyahoga River Bridge. This was requested by C for Cat. He wanted to see the Cuyahoga River Bridge and the I-80 lanes over there. That's I-80 in the distance. And that was also pointed out by E and B. He wanted to see that as well. So thank both of you for that request. Really appreciate that. Ian said this would be a good picture for my thumbnail. And actually I'd already made it the thumbnail idea before he mentioned that, but good eye, good eye, good uh, prediction there. Here we're meeting I-80 once again. Again, we don't actually intersect with 80, but we can see that this is quite weird that we are going over the westbound lanes of I-80 and then we are going under the eastbound lanes of I-80. So. I don't know why they did it that way. It must have been some particular land feature causing that, but pretty interesting crossover situation here. And now we're meeting I-77. We're getting 77 for Akron and Cleveland, but this is just a loop interchange that's heading southbound on 77. So where's the Cleveland come from? You can only get on a southbound 77 from here. Well, if we go down, we see that we are getting Wheatley Road to I-77 North Cleveland. So they mean get off at a normal, regular interchange and loop around and go back north if you're heading north. So here is what the whole structure looks like. Pretty interesting that they do it that way and it's all because this original intersection of 77 and 271 was fairly limited in its scope when they built it. So they're using nearby interchanges to increase the number of movements. Down here we get a rest area. That's how rural 271 gets that there's actually a rest area on it. You don't see that that often on three digit highways in major metro areas. When we meet I-71, it's a Y interchange. We only get to get onto southbound. So we're getting a two north 71 next right at the last exit here. So here is our last exit, our Ohio 94 that we saw on the way in. So you can get off there to get to northbound 71. And we're gonna be meeting southbound I-71. So we see that there is going to be a slowdown for this ramp. 
And here we curve under I-71, and now we merge onto I-71 South, and that ends I-271. All right, let's take a look at Todd's the way it should be for 271. I'm gonna say the way they do it is just fine. All of these suburbs that we pass through are all pretty small. None of them are more than maybe 12,000 people. None of them are particularly well known. So I think this is a long distance traffic moving road. So signing it northbound, Erie. Southbound, Columbus. Works just fine in this situation, and well done, Ohio. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Control City Freak. Next week, we are going back to New York City. It is Independence Day. Gotta go check out the hot dog eating contest. So we are doing the Belt Parkway in Brooklyn and Queens next week. And until then, my name is Todd, and keep on trucking.